Hello everybody, your uncle here. Welcome to this bonus episode of Fish and Tips. Today I am going to show you how to create your own foam float. In many of our atolls and islands, you may find these foam floats by the shore. They are floats that are used in the Persane fishery, and some of these floats drift towards land. You can collect these floats to make a simpler version of the drift fishing line that we looked at in the last episode. You will need a Persane or EVA foam float, nylon monofilament mainline, a snap swivel, a lead swivel, this is optional, gouge out the center of the foam float, smooth all surfaces. If you want to make it rigid, put a piece of PVC pipe hole there and tie in the tube on the ends here to stop it from, st stop sliding, out. from sliding out. Secure with a knot and wind on around 20 to 30 meters of main line with a snap swivel on the end. Attach your leader and bait. Hey uncle, I'm not sure about how you cut this float. I had to do that very quickly, but if you want to swim home, you pass that to me, <laughs> and off you go. <laughs> oh, with the way. <laughs> Attach a baited hook or a baited parcel to the mainline snap swivel and drop it into the water. If you have a baited parcel attached, you must jerk the line to release the hook, chum, and stone. Now drop your foam float into the water and let it drift. The main line will slowly unravel. <laughs> See ya! When at sea, the simple foam float is best used to target smaller fish in shallow waters like mahi mahi, skipjack or small yellowfin. Make sure to check out our other episodes on midwater fishing techniques. Thank you for watching, we hope you've enjoyed this bonus episode on fishing tips.